My name is Samantha Papp and I'm on the interdisciplinary and evidence-based approaches to educating students with severe disabilities and special health care needs grant. So I am one of the students in the Department of Human Development, specifically the Child Studies Program, and I am also on this interdisciplinary grant. I'm learning how to collaborate with other professionals, so for me it's learning how to collaborate with medical professionals, but I'm learning their methodology and the way that they support my students. So how can we sort of bridge the gap between education and healthcare and provide a comprehensive plan for supporting the students? There's a huge parallel between the two that often um, you don't get from one side or the other, and so this interdisciplinary grant kind of meshes them together and kind of gives you more of a holistic view of the individual. One day we might have a, a, a medical professional who works with pain management, and another day we might have a medical professional who works with, you know, like psychology of a student with a significant disability. And so seeing the different ways that they approach, the way it compares and contrasts to special education, and seeing similarities in the field, and also differences in the fields um, exposes me to, to practices I wouldn't have gotten exposure to. And so this grant, I feel like, covers everything that I am interested in. I'm getting to get hands-on experience in a classroom setting, um, which is then translated to the hospital um, and learning about how, you know, I can communicate best with these patients and with their families and really serve as an advocate to their healthcare team. I think that's probably the biggest thing I've realized. Like we have students with significant disabilities and they also face significant other challenges. And by being on the grant and being in this class, we learn from other practitioners who can say, hey, like this is what we see in our practice. Here's ways that you can help us. And so I think that's been really valuable for me. Um, one of my practicum placements was at Tennessee School for the Blind. And uh, so being able to kind of learn how to model communication and label things and a lot of times in the hospital those things just kind of go um, unnoticed and so we I was able to learn how to really label activities we were doing and to describe them and uh, in a healthcare setting you know maybe this would translate to explaining okay we're going to be removing the bandage now and really preparing a child for what's to come and to label everything that's happening just so they're aware I've chosen to enter this field because I believe that all students should have the opportunity to engage in education in a way that specifically suits their individualized needs. I wish that this world was as inclusive as this grant is, you know, and so to be a little part of that to make it take a few more baby steps, especially in the healthcare world, of creating a more inclusive environment. Like That's kind of what I get out of it, to make it all equal and the same, and to really lift up our, our friends who have special healthcare needs.